simple mail uh, transfer protocol using this library php mailer we can send a uh, email uh, using smtp so everything i'll teach you step by steps will not escape any steps so, so before to install a php mailer in our project let me just show you uh how this works so this is my inbox uh, all right so this is inbox it's empty now and uh, here are a message sent so let me just refresh this page so uh, it's a sending my message you can see so we have to wait so message has been sent successfully now we have to refresh our page and you can see test smtp and here are a message so you can also include you can also include some uh, html in the message uh, you can uh, just change uh, the subject of the message uh, you can just change uh, from name you can just change the subject of the message and show you step by step will not escape any steps so without wasting time let me just go ahead and uh, install php manage for that those this ones and let me just create a new project uh, so php php my uh, php application just next and here are project name so you can just simply php mailer uh, smtp sorry smtp why it's not typing from my keyboard s smtp mailer and finish it so now we have this html file so let's zoom in so you can see clearly so this is html we can just remove this code and now we need to go to our uh, go to our project i'm using xamp so xamp c drive xamp sd doc yeah smtp mailer you can just come here and you have to just type cmd all right so after just open this command prompt uh uh, uh we have to execute one query uh, which is a uh, composer command to install the php mailer in our application so let me just show that command which is this one uh where is that yeah here php composer require php mailer uh, and uh, file slash php mailer so these are the dependencies we need to install using composer okay if you just simply just copy this command and paste it here and if you hit enter it will not work if your system doesn't have uh, composer in your system so for that you have to install composer composer and here are composer uh, official website of composer you can just click on download and you will see the exe file so let's let me just download one more time because already i have let me show you some uh, basic thing about to in, uh, is install composer in your system so now we have a composer in, uh, downloaded and now we need to install so let's recommend it yes and next next and next and install so uh yeah uh, my composer already in our system so we don't need to install it again but this is the process you can just install like this all right so after this uh, you need to uh, go to in our project here and you can just type let me just close this one and just type cmd and here you can paste your composer command composer require php my uh, php mailer and file slash php mailer and you can just paste after installing composer uh, if you don't have a composer then it will not work so you can hit enter so you want you want to uh, you want to download a php mailer uh, like a composer in this location uh, c drive xamp stdoc no we don't want to install uh, inside this directory stdoc we want inside here in our project which is stdoc xamp stdoc php mailer and then we can we can we want the php mailer here in this directory so just type no and and hit enter so it will download all your uh, php mailer dependencies and all the packages you can see here let me just go here yeah you can see so it will download automatically vendor vendor file and uh, there are the composer.log and composer.json file after that you have to come here and just copy this code here this code you can just copy here are a copy button and then go to in your code editor this is my index.php file and you can paste and now we need to modify some things just let me just go here yeah so we don't need to attach any file in the email so let's remove and uh, then here you can add let's just remove some uh, unnecessary uh, comment from here so you can just uh, replace your smtp host name here here will be your host name uh, my host name is a mail.ratoji.in whatever uh, your host name how you can add so let me show you how you can create smtp using cpanel so just let me log in my cpanel here and go to login and email accounts and you can create here and you can just test smtp again this is my username and here are password you can just generate this is a temporary smtp i'm creating just all right so never we need to save uh, where is that uh, yeah this one 
let me just uh, change the password with manage uh, yeah generate the password because this password i will use here uh, username password password here here you can add a password here and uh, yeah next thing is your username username is this one and let's update so you can just update here uh, this is username password and username we have added and our host name so how you can get a host name just go to manage go to devices connected devices and here you will see the incoming and outgoing uh, uh, server host name so this is outgoing so you can just copy and paste it here mm, host name all right so here you can add your uh, email address your your email test at the rate test.com and here are the uh, sorry sorry i'm really sorry you have to add a username of your smtp add and from name from name why why name then let's remove all those codes because we need only to send this address so recipient at the rate um, mail.com any name any email you can add here and uh, here are the so why 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 ratoji and uh yeah there are the subject there are body and there are alt uh, alternative uh, body so we don't need alternative body and then just uh, format it and uh when we just uh, yeah if you're using the port 587 here are 587 so you have to change the encryption type so here are clear, clearly mentioned which is a uh, start tls we are sending using tls yeah control s for save and uh, now we need to run our application just uh, local host and our project name uh, so this is my project name so if you see like this uh, message uh, it's a message sent successfully and you can check uh, because uh, i didn't add uh, let me just add this email address and put here uh, to set it from and uh, here are a recipient email address so i'm adding one recipient here and let's refresh the page you will see uh, mass, uh page is refreshing and it's just sending our uh, email so now you can see message sent so let me just check you will see from name and here are subject and here are some uh, message of the template all right so we have seen a lot more thing one more thing you don't like uh, to show the server details uh, here like this up so you can just turn off uh, the debug mode is just off of this server debug is off and let's refresh and now you can see message sent successfully and you can just come here and you will see the another message of the uh, from the smtp so guys we have seen a lot more thing about uh, smtp uh, you can uh, explore php mailer to come here php mailer uh, github dot uh, com and php mailer and php mailer of something and you can explore more thing to uh, send smtp emails you can add cc you can add a pcc and also you can attach some files uh, with your emails and you can explore and you can make amazing uh, uh, functional functionality in your project so if you like please give a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this so thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day